Good afternoon and welcome to Wise Advice, the parent sessions. This is parent session number six. This session is looking at the question, does my child need their own desk to revise effectively? You might have seen uh, this recent article on the BBC News uh, that talks about how students and children who've got their own desk and access to their own desk are far more likely to go to university. And this might have got you thinking, do I need to now go out and invest in a desk for my child uh, in order to enrich their learning experience, in order for them to be able to do independent work at home effectively and to be able to revise and prepare for their GCSEs in the best way possible? Short answer to this is no. No, they do not need a desk to do effective independent work at home or independent revision with a but. The but is, yes, a desk can help. A desk can be a tool, their own desk can be a helpful tool in order to help them reach their goals, but they don't need it to be incredibly successful. In my student session video on setting up your revision station, I talk about having a clear area of a table in front of you, keeping your revision resources on the left and moving them to the clear area to work on for your 20 minute or half an hour slot and then moving them to the right and using that system in order to uh, achieve your effective revision and commit that work you're doing to your long-term memory. It's a really efficient way of just removing all friction and having a smooth revision time. So you're not focusing on where's my stuff, where, where's my revision materials, or where am I supposed to put them now? It just moves quickly, you know exactly what you're supposed to do, you complete it in that clear area, and then you move it to your right. Now you can do that on your own desk, of course you can do that on your own desk, but you can do that on any table. I did most of my revision at the library, or the dining room table myself, and many students I work with do not have access to their own desk. They do their revision on a dining room table or in the library, and they've done exceptionally well in their exams. There are benefits to having your own desk. Now, firstly, the first benefit of having your own desk is you can revise whenever you want. If I was a student and had my own remote desk, I could go up there and I could revise whenever I needed to. That'd be my desk, my materials would be there, I'd know where everything was, I'd have access to it any time I wanted it. Another great benefit is they can build revision habits, good revision habits like this. They're going to the same place every time. There's their desk. They know exactly what they're doing when they go into that area. That becomes a really solid, effective working area. And when they enter it, they get in the right mindset straight away. And those habits of having their workstation set up in the same place, they, they continue on the more they do it. And thirdly, it's a big investment from you. It's a way of you saying to your child, look, I care about your independent work. I care about your revision. I'm making an investment in this for you now. This is your desk for you to use for your revision. There you go. And that's, that's a real powerful statement you can give to your child about the importance of their independent work. There's one big downside to a student having their own desk in their own room and doing their revision there is that it's a bit removed from you. And it's unless they've got very, very strong willpower and are going to be able to focus there for that period of time and not be distracted because they're so separate and, and off by themselves, uh, it may lead to bad revision. It may lead to revision where they're distracted or there's big temptations, especially if they've got something like a PlayStation or a console uh, or their phone with them in their room. Uh, a lot of students drift into that temptation of doing things they're not supposed to be doing uh, and not focusing on their revision. This isn't a problem you would probably have if they were downstairs near you in a dining room on a uh, using the dining room table. But again, then I guess another benefit is if you are using the dining room table like I used to do, my mum used to leave me like a little section um, in the room, a little corner. I had to keep all my stuff down there. I had to kind of pull it out and use it when it was time to revise and put it all back away neatly afterwards. Um, if she had friends over or they needed the dining room table, I was a bit out of luck there and I had to find another place to do my revision. So how can you help them with their revision station and having a place in the house to revise? Well, there's a few things you can definitely do. You can help them to source uh, great revision material. So there's some fantastic revision guides out there. I'd always recommend uh, getting advice from their teachers about that. But of course, revision guides are expensive and most students are going to be doing 10 uh, GCSEs and therefore that's a big investment uh, for you to pay out for those revision guides. There are other things that students can do using the resources that come from school. Now you know from my other videos I advocate hugely flashcards, uh, Cornell notes, mind maps. These are very cheap to produce and generally there are some reliable websites like that where you can get that information to fill those without buying revision guides. Revision guides are great but again all these things are tools. And what's most important is their motivation to do the revision um, and the effort and attitude they're going to put into it to get their best results out. Another thing you can do to help is take their phone away from them. If they do have a console in their room, take the controller 
or take an important lead just for that time. Say, look, I'm doing this for your benefit. I'm taking this away just to your revision's done tonight. And then you can have that back again. And then you can know that when they're out there with their revision station, those uh, temptations are taken away. Really important thing is to keep them on track with their timetable. So they've made their timetable, they've agreed to it. Now it's just so important that they stick to it. Encourage them, check that they're doing what's written on the wall on that timetable. Reward them when it's going well. Uh, when they get a bit downhearted, you just say, look how much you've done, you've done so well. You're just gonna continue doing small steps, small steps all the time. You're doing great, keep it up. Encourage them to stay tidy. If they've got their own desk, Tell them to keep it tidy, get their resources ready, have that clear space in the middle to move it on. Um, if they're having to take their revision sources to a table in the house and then move them or take them to the library and bring them back, they need to be really organized with that and knowing where everything is. So keeping them really well organized can be really, really, really uh, conducive to good revision. So yes, to summarize, no, your child does not need a desk to revise effectively, but a desk is a tool that can help them. Don't fall into the trap of thinking if I go out there and buy them a desk, they're going to get great grades. That's not the case. It's just one of many tools they can use to achieve their full potential and start revising effectively. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do click like, do hit subscribe. We've got more stuff coming your way.